Hey all, Monty, aka Mustang Freak here. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the new Agent Light that was released this morning and an install video to start it off with. So what you're going to do is you're going to be putting your radio, whatever radio it is, into USB storage mode. So for the X90, just hold the two trims together, turn it on, and that's all you need to do. Plug in the USB cord to your computer. Mine is set to automatically bring up uh, USB storage devices. If not, then you'll need to go through your computer's navigation menu and bring up the uh, USB drive. The window with the firmware, you do not want to touch, so just close that. You'll see here it says scripts. You want to remember that. We'll be coming back to that in a moment. Now you want to take the link that I gave you in the description below and put that in your uh, internet browser's navigation window. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there now. It's the tbsagentlight.zip. Hit enter on that and it will automatically download a zip file for you. So what you do now is open that, wait for the extract tool to open. Now you'll hit extract all, go to browse. Now you want to go back <clears throat> to that spot that I just notated. So you'll go to your USB drive, go down to scripts, Go into Tools, and at that point, you just hit Select Folder. Hit Extract. Now it'll extract all the contents that you just downloaded right into the Tools folder of your radio. And it's actually as easy as that. You're done once this is done. Let this complete. These are all the Lua scripts that live on your radio and a couple other things. Go ahead and close that, close that, close that. Disconnect your USB cord, power down your radio. For me, I have to plug my Crossfire unit back in because it hides the USB. I will go ahead and power that up. I'll give us some background, power up the cappy. Now, beforehand, you would go and pre do a long press of your radio or menu button to get to your Lua scripts. And you would go to Crossfire, and that's the Lua script you would use. So you'd open that up, and then you'd get this basic menu of your devices that are active or anything that you needed to change. Now, you see that there's a TBS agent light. Click that baby and notice a nice fully set up GUI has been presented by TBS for us. You've got your transmitter, all the settings that you'd normally need to do are here, but it works much smoother, much more reliably. Um, less of those script errors. I, I haven't noticed any. Um, I'm purposely backing out of the menus so you can see you know, the, how quickly everything loads. Um, just very, very well done. Uh, you can see that down here, there's a, an icon for each item. So that's it in very short order. Uh, you'll also, at some point, uh, be able to take this just kidding I can't show you any of that right now that's agent light I hope this helps you guys out and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments or just message me directly you guys have a good day